Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. So children, uh, do you know that our parents generally don't uh, do tell us not to talk to strangers, isn't it? But sometimes do you feel that some strangers are really nice? They really help us? Let's see what happens in this chapter when this boy comes across a stranger and how the stranger has been kind enough with him. All right. So let's read this chapter called A Loving Stranger. The prologue says this story showcases the theme of kindness, care, concern, trust and connection. A young boy, Arun, encountered a woman at the train station who not only showed him kindness but cared for him like a mother. But he never really got to know who she was till the end. What is more interesting about the story is the fact that Arun still trusted the woman and got influenced by her simplicity and the way she dressed herself. So, Arun has had an encounter with a woman okay, at the train station. जिसने इसकी काफी हेल्प की और इसकी देखभाल की एस दो शी वाज हिज मदर ओके एंड तक अरुण को पता नहीं चला कि ये लेडी थी कौन और कहां से आई थी एंड हाउ कम शी हेल्प्ड हिम ओके एंड शी वाज रियली नाइस टू हिम एंड अ वेरी सिंपल लेडी ऑलराइट सो नाउ लेट्स डू अ वार्म अप बिफोर वी रीड दिस स्टोरी how should a teenager behave if he is approached by a stranger discuss so how do you think you should behave jab aap uh, when you come across any type of a stranger okay aapko kaise uh, kaisa aapka behavior kaisa hona chahiye aapko lagta hai discuss with your friends and your teachers as well all right now let's read it was my second year at boarding school and i was sitting on platform number 8 at ambala station waiting for the northern bound train i think i was about 12 at that time my parents considered me old enough to travel alone and i had arrived by bus at ambala early in the evening now there was a wait till midnight before my train arrived most of the time i had been pacing up and down the platform browsing at the bookstall or feeding broken biscuits to stray dogs trains came and went and the platform would be quiet for a while and then when a train arrived it would be an inferno of heaving shouting agitated human bodies as the carriage doors open a tide of people would sweep down from upon the nervous little ticket collectors at the gate and every time this happened i would be caught in the rush and swept outside the station so this author is a 12 year old boy he is talking about a story when he was 12 years old jab wo uh, ambala station pahuncha tha by bus okay aur wo aage boarding school ja raha tha to uske parents ko lag raha tha ki wo abhi kafi bada ho gaya and he can travel alone so he is telling us about what was what all uh, scenes he saw at the play, uh, platform agar jab aap train travel karte ho to platform pe aap dekhoge ki jab train aati hai to kafi सारा यू नो देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मैस ओके लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आर रनिंग लॉट ऑफ रश इज देर लॉट ऑफ यू नो पीपल आर कमिंग डाउन द ट्रेन कूलीज आर रनिंग पीपल आर मीटिंग ईच आदर एंड यू नो दे कैरिंग देर बैग्स एंड मतलब बहुत सारा हल्ला गुल्ला होता है और uh, जब ट्रेन निकल जाती है एंड पीपल लीव द प्लेटफॉर्म अगेन वहाँ पे सन्नाटा होता है सो दिस uh author who was a child then he was getting stuck in between that rush okay and he was like you know somehow getting thrown from this side to the that side of the train of the station so now tired of this game and of ambling about the platform i sat down on my suitcase and gazed dismally across the railway tracks so ab wo bore ho chuka tha uh, because he, his train was going to be late and he had already reached the station quite early so that's why he was getting a little bored and he was just whiling away the time at the uh, platform itself but ab wo bore ho gaya tha and now he was fed up of the rush also to wo usne kya kiya suit ke uh, suitcase ke upar wo ja ke baith gaya trolleys rolled past me and i was conscious of the cries of various vendors the men who sold curds and lemon the sweet meat seller the newspaper boy but i had lost interest in all that went on along the busy platform and continued to stare across the railway tracks feeling bored and a little lonely 
सो अब ये टोटली बोर हो चुका था ही वॉज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द वेंडर्स एनी मोर एंड द ट्रेन कमिंग एनी मोर द रश एनी मोर द न्यूज़ पेपर सेलर्स नथिंग अब वो सिर्फ ट्रैक्स को बैठ के ट्रैक्स देख रहा था दैट्स एट आई यू ऑल अलोन माई सन आस्ट सॉफ्ट वॉइस क्लोज बिहाइंड मी आई लुकड अप एंड सो अ वुमेन स्टैंडिंग नियर मी She was leaning over, and I saw a pale face and dark, kind eyes. She wore no jewels and was dressed dressed very simply in a white sari. Yes, I'm going to school, I said, and stood up respectfully. She seemed poor, but there was a dignity about her that commanded respect. So, तब वो जो वहाँ पे बैठा था अकेला, तो एक लेडी आती है उसके पास और उसको पूछती क्या तुम अकेले हो बेटे? तो ही इज़ लाइक उसने देखा उस लेडी को और उसने हाँ बोल दिया कि यस एंड यू नो ही रियलाइज कि वो जो लेडी थी वो काफ़ी सिंपल थी कोई ज्वेलरी नहीं पहनी थी और मतलब उसकी जो आँखें थी उसका फेस जो था इट वॉज लाइक अ सिंपल फे पेल फेस एंड शी वो नो ज्वेल्स एंड यू नो शी वॉज ड्रेस्ड वेरी सिंपली इन अ वाइट सारी ओके सो ही सेट कि येस आई एम गोइंग टू स्कूल एंड यू नो ही स्टूड अप रिस्पेक्टफुली सो उसको लग रहा था कि शायद से वो पुअर थी बट उसमें कोई चीज़ थी यू नो शी हैड सम ग्रेस इन हर विच डिमांडेड रिस्पेक्ट एंड दैट इज़ द रीज़न वाई ही ऑटोमेटिकली स्टूड अप ओके आई हैव बीन वॉचिंग यू फॉर सम टाइम शी सेट डिडेंट योर पेरेंट्स कम टू सी यू ऑफ आई डोंट लिव ह्यर आई सेट आई हैव टू चेंज ट्रेन एनी वे आई कैन ट्रेवल अलोन I'm sure you can," she said, and I liked her for saying that, and I also liked her for the simplicity of her dress and for the, her deep, soft voice and the serenity of her face. So she had a very peaceful, very calm face. Okay, and uh, automatically he was answering her questions. So she asked him, "Ki tum akele aaye ho? Kya tum akele travel kar paoge?" So he said, "Ki ha, mujhe waise bhi trains change karni hai, and I can travel alone." so she was she told him pretty confidently confidently that uh, you know i'm sure you can so tell me what is your name she asked arun i said and how long do you have to wait for your train uh, about an hour i think it comes at 12 o'clock then come with me and i have something to eat i was going to refuse out of shyness and suspicion but she took me by the hand and then i felt it would be silly to pull my hand away she told a coolie to look after my suitcase and then she led me away down the platform her hand was gentle and she held mine neither too firmly nor too lightly i looked up at her again she was not young and she was not old she must have been over 30 but had she, had she been uh, 50 i think she would have looked much the same so fir wo usko poochti ki tumhari train kitne baje aayegi so he said like maybe in an hours time to kehti chalo main tumhe kuch khila deti hu okay ab isko mana to karna tha but somehow okay when she held his hand he just couldn't refuse or pull his hand away from her aur wo apne aap uske sath chalne lagta hai okay और फिर वो सोचता है कि ना ना तो वो काफ़ी यंग है ना तो शी इज़ क्वाइट ओल्ड सो शी मस्ट बी समवेयर अराउंड थर्टी इज ओके एंड शी शी कॉट हिज हैंड वेरी जेंटली आराम से उसको लेके जा रही थी सो शी टुक मी इन टू द स्टेशन डाइनिंग रूम स्टेशन का जो कैंटीन एरिया था वहाँ पे वो लेके गई ऑर्डर टी एंड समोसाज एंड जलेबीज एंड एट वंस आई बिगैन टू थो एंड टेक अ न्यू इंटरेस्ट इन दिस काइंड वुमेन द स्ट्रेंज एनकाउंटर हैड लिटिल इफेक्ट ऑन माई एपिटाइट I was a hungry school boy and I ate as much as I could in as polite a manner as possible. She took obvious pleasure in watching me eat and I think it was the food that strengthened uh, the bond between us and cemented our friendship. For under the influence of the tea and sweets I began to talk quite freely and told her about my school, my friends, my likes and dislikes. So उसको डाइनिंग रूम लेके जाते उसको समोसा चाय जलेबी सब खिलाते तो अब ये इस लड़के को ही स्टार्ट शोइंग इंटरेस्ट इन दैट वुमेन ही स्टार्ट्स लाइकिंग हर और फिर वो अपने आप उससे बातें करना शुरू कर देता है ही टेल्स हर अबाउट स्कूल अपने लाइक्स अपने डिसलाइक्स सब के बारे में उसके साथ बात करना आराम से खुले तरीके से बात करना शुरू कर देता है शी क्वेश्चन मी क्वाइटली फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम बट प्रेफर्ड लिसनिंग she drew me out very well and i had soon forgotten that we were strangers 
but she did not ask me about my family or where I lived and I did not ask her where she lived. I accepted her for what she had been to me, a quiet, kind and gentle woman who gave sweets to a lonely boy on a railway station. So, up wo मतलब उसने ना उसको पूछा कि तुम कहाँ से हो तुम्हारी फैमिली कहाँ है और ना इधर डिट शी आस्क हिम एनी थिंग अबाउट द प्लेस फ्रॉम वेयर ही केम अबाउट हिज फैमिली कुछ भी नहीं बोला बट ही वॉज सम हाउ ड्रू टू हर यू नो एंड ही वॉज क्वाइट हैप्पी टू हैव मेट अ पर्सन हु वॉज सो नाइस एंड काइंड एंड जेंटल टूवर्ड्स हिम ओके अबाउट आफ्टर अबाउट हाफ एन आवर वी लेफ्ट द डाइनिंग रूम एंड बिगैन वॉकिंग बैक अलॉन्ग द प्लेटफॉर्म An engine was shunting up and down beside platform number eight, and as it approached, a boy leapt off the platform and ran across the rails, taking a shortcut to the next platform. He was at a safe distance from the engine, and there was no danger unless he had fallen. But as he leapt across the rails, the woman clutched my arm. Her fingers dug into my flesh, and I winced with pain. I caught her fingers and looked up at her. and as her spasm of pain and fear and sadness passed across her face she watched the boy as he climbed the other platform and it was not until he had disappeared in the crowd that she relaxed her hand on my arm so what happens is jab wo aadhe ghante ke baad dining room se nikalte okay and they walking back towards the uh, platform ek uh, जो इंजन होती है वो लगनी शुरू ho jati hai platform pe okay and uh, you know um, as it approached अ बॉय एक एक लड़का उस जो इंजन है वहाँ से बाहर उसकी तरफ आ जाता है ओके एंड ही रैन अक्रॉस द रेल्स टेकिंग अ शॉर्टकट टू द नेक्स्ट प्लेटफॉर्म अब वो काफ़ी सेफ डिस्टेंस पे था इंजन से ओके एंड देर वॉज नो डेंजर अगर वो गिर जाता था तो डेंजर था बट ही हैड नॉट फॉलन एंड इट वॉज देर वॉज नो डेंजर ओके बट एज ही लेफ्ट अक्रॉस द रेल्स ये जो लेडी थी उसने इसका हाथ वो बच्चे का अरुण का हाथ टाइटली पकड़ लिया ओके एंड यू नो शी वॉच द बॉय एज ही क्लाइम द अदर प्लेटफॉर्म सो वो उस लड़के पे नज़र रख रही थी और जब उसने वो दूसरा प्लेटफॉर्म क्लाइम किया तभी जाके इसने अरुण का हाथ छोड़ दिया शी स्माइल दैट मे री अश्योरिंग मी एंड टुक माई हैंड अगेन बट हर फिंगर्स ट्रेम्बल्ड अगेंस्ट माइंड ही वॉज ऑल राइट I said, feeling that it was she who needed reassurance. She smiled gratefully at me and pressed my hand. We walked together in silence until we reached the place where I had left my suitcase. So, उसको realize हुआ और उनको realize हुआ कि शायद से ये डर गई कि वो लड़का ठीक तो होगा क्योंकि generally ऐसे कोई incident होता है तो हमारे पास में जो होता है हम तुरंत उनका हाथ पकड़ लेते हैं. Right, so she did the same thing, and then he uh, Arun reassured her that no matter what, he is safe and he has gone to the other platform safely. All right, now children, let's track your performance through the My Performance Tracker. Quickly answer these questions. All right, one of my school fellows, Satish, a boy of about my age, had turned up with his mother. Hello, Arun, he called. The train's coming late as usual. Did you know we have a new headmaster this year? We shook hands and then he turned to his mother and said, "This is Arun, mother. He is one of my friends and the best bowler in the class." So, thodi der me, waha pe platform pe Arun ka dost aata hai Satish, apni mummy ke saath, okay? Or fir wo Arun ko bata tha ki Arun as usual train late hone wali hai aur hamare school me naye headmaster aane wale is saal. Fir Satish ne Arun ka introduction de diya apni mummy ko kya ke ki he is Arun. and he is uh, one of my friends and he is also the best bowler in the class i'm glad to know that said his mother a large imposing woman who wore spectacles she looked at the woman who led my hand and said and i suppose you are arun's mother i opened my mouth to make some explanation but before i could say anything the woman replied yes i am arun's mother i was unable to speak a word I looked quickly at the woman but she did not appear to be at all embarrassed and was smiling at Satish's mother. Satish's mother said, "It's such a nuisance having to wait for the train right in the middle of the night. But one can't let the child wait here alone. Anything can happen to a boy at a big station like this. There are so many suspicious characters hanging out. These days one has to be very careful of strangers." 
सो so, uh, जैसे ही इंट्रोडक्शन हो जाता है सतीश की मम्मी की नज़र आती है उस लेडी पे ओके okay? और वो पूछती कि uh, क्या आप अरुण की मम्मी हो तो अरुण जैसे ही जवाब देने वाला होता है तभी कि वो लेडी हाँ बोल देती है और फिर उसकी मम्मी ऑब्वियसली वेन वेन द लेडीज दे स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू ईच अदर यू नो देन दे टॉक अबाउट एवरी थिंग पॉसिबल तो वो सतीश की मम्मी अरुण वो उस लेडी को बोलने लगती है कि इट इज़ सो इट इज़ सो न्यूसेंस यू नो इट इज़ सच सच अ डेंजरस थिंग दैट द चिल्ड्रेन हैव टू वेट फॉर द ट्रेन दैट कम सो लेट इन द नाइट आजकल कुछ भी हो सकता है यू नो एंड दिस प्लेस इज फुल ऑफ स्ट्रेंजर्स एंड वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल ऑफ दैम Arun can travel alone though said the woman beside me and somehow i felt grateful to her saying that i had already forgiven her for lying and besides i had taken an instinctive dislike for to satish's mother well be very careful arun said satish's mother looking sternly at me through her spectacles be very careful when your mother is not with you and never talk to strangers I looked for from Satish's mother to the woman who had given me tea and sweets and then back at Satish's mother. I like strangers, I said. So, tabhi wo Satish ki mummy jo hoti hai wo Arun ko warn karti hai ki strangers se thoda dur hi rehna. But um, Arun jo hota hai wo um, us lady ko dekhke Satish ki mummy ko kehta hai ki but I like strangers. Satish's mother definitely staggered a little as obviously she was not used to being contradicted by small boys ab Satish ki mummy ko ye acha nahi laga okay there you are you see if you don't watch over them all the time they'll walk straight into trouble always listen to what your mother tells you she said wagging a little a fat little finger at me and never never talk to strangers I glared resentfully at her and moved closer to the woman who had befriended me. Satish was standing behind his mother, grinning at me and delighting in my clash with his mother. Apparently, he was on my side. The station bell clanged and the people who had till now been squatting resignedly on the platform began hustling about. Here it comes, shouted Satish as the engine whistled, shrieked and the front lights played over the rails the train moved slowly into the station the engine hissing and sending out waves of stream steam as it came to a stop satish jumped on the footboard of a lighted compartment and shouted come on arun this one's empty and i picked up my suitcase and made a dash for the open door so jab arun ki mummy mana uh, jab satish ki mummy mana karti hai अरुण को कि स्ट्रेंजर्स से बात नहीं करनी है और वो बोलता है कि मुझे स्ट्रेंजर्स अच्छे लगते हैं तो उसको और गुस्सा आता है ओके और वो अरुण जो है वो जो लेडी थी उसके पास जाके उसको चिपक के खड़ा रह जाता है और सतीश जो है अपनी मम्मी के पीछे छुप के हंस रहा है बट ही नोज दैट यू नो सतीश इज़ ऑल्सो एन ऑन हिज साइड और तभी वहाँ पे फिर से वही हल्ला मचने लगता है स्टेशन पे बिकॉज द ट्रेन हैज़ ऑलरेडी मूव्ड इन एंड इट इज़ गेटिंग लेट अप एंड देन नाउ सतीश बोर्ड्स द ट्रेन फर्स्ट एंड देन ही कॉल्स ओवर अरुण ओके सो वी प्लेस्ड आर सेल्स एट द ओपन विंडोज एंड द टू वीमेन स्टूड आउटसाइड ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म टॉकिंग टू आर्स सतीश इज मदर डिड मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉकिंग नो डोंट जम्प ऑन एंड ऑफ द मूविंग ट्रेन एज यू डिड जस्ट नाउ she said and don't stick your heads out of the windows and don't eat any rubbish on the way she allowed me to share the benefit of her advice as she probably didn't think my mother a very capable person she handed satish a bag of fruits a cricket bat and a big box of chocolates and told him to share the food with me then she stood back from the windows to uh, to watch how my mother behaved so now this mother of satish okay she was like you know trying to be the typical mother who was giving him uh, different different guidelines ki ye mat karna wo mat karna yahan mein ye uh, khana mat khana wo khana mat khana and then she gave him the fruit basket uski cricket bag de di chocolates ka box de diya sab kuch de diya aur usko lag raha tha ki ye jo lady aayi hai arun ke sath that arun's mother is not so capable enough of giving such instructions okay I was smarting under the patronizing tone of Satish's mother who obviously thought mine a very poor family and I did not intend giving the other woman away I let her take my hand in hers but I could think of nothing to say 
I was conscious of Satish's mother staring at us with hard, beady eyes and I found myself hating her with a firm, unreasoning hate. So obviously, जब किसी की मम्मी इतना ज़्यादा बोलती है, so ten we the children they tend to judge her and they tend to say you know tend to dislike her. So वैसे ही हुआ अरुण के साथ भी. So he had somehow not liked Satish's mother who was trying to dominate so much. At the same time, he did not want to leave the hand of this lady who had you know given him support and been kind and grateful to him. Okay, the guard walked up the platform, blowing his whistle for the train to leave. I looked straight into the eyes of the woman who held my hand and she smiled in a gentle, understanding way. I leaned out of the window then and put my lips to her cheek and kissed her. The carriage jolted forward and she drew her hand away. Goodbye, mother, said Satish as the train began to move slowly out of the station. Satish and his mother waved to each other goodbye. I said to the other woman, "Goodbye, mother." So uh, this uh, Arun had uh, started uh, being so fond of this lady. He really liked her for being that kind lady and that gentle lady. That uh, in the end, when the train uh, whistle blew, okay, he just uh, gave her a kiss on her cheek, you know, and said bye to her. That was a way of showing gratitude from Arun for that. For the kind gesture that that lady had extended towards him and protected him on the station, okay, I didn't wave or shout, but sat still in front of the window, gazing at the woman on the platform. Satish's mother was talking to her, but she didn't appear to be listening. She was looking at me as the train took me away. She stood there on the busy platform, a pale, sweet woman in white, and I watched her until she was lost in the milling crowd. So. Although um, Satish's mother was very talkative, this lady was very calm, very quiet, and you know, in, uh, even after the train left, and Satish and his mother were like saying bye to each other. These both they gave a silent bye to each other. Okay, just with the uh, eye, with their eyes on uh, glued to each other, and he was really. Uh, grateful that he had spoken to a very nice stranger and this lady helped him. So children, yes, there we have to be careful whom we talk to, what we talk to, but sometimes we may encounter or we may come across somebody who is really kind and grateful towards us. So children, read it, this beautiful story, learn the uh, difficult words, the important words, their meanings and don't forget to do the back exercises.